Welcome back. Um, thanks for checking out the last video. Uh, last video I talked a little bit about finding cheap tools. Uh, this week I'm going to kind of change directions and change pace a little bit, but still talk about some tools. Um, this great guitar build off I'm going to be using uh, to carve specifically the body and pro probably the neck profile. Um, I'm going to be using my X Carve by Inventables. Um, I know not a lot of people have the money to go out and buy, you know, a CNC. However, the cool thing about this is uh, it is definitely a hobby grade entry level CNC. But so far from everything that I've done with it, um, it can definitely take on the task of building guitars. Um, I've been using my machine for about two and a half, almost three years now. It's 100% stock, no upgrades, no stiffening whatevers, no upgraded belts. I know a lot of guys upgrade the belts to the thicker belts. Um, mine's just 100% stock, the way that it was sent to me, the way that I ordered it. And so far it's been a great machine. I've been able to do a lot of uh, really cool stuff with it. Um, this isn't a you know a paid promotion by them. I, I you know I'm not getting any kind of kickback from Inventables. I just truly enjoy working with this machine. Um, like I said, it is definitely a hobby grade machine. It can be upgraded into something that's a little more professional, if you will. Uh, but as it is, the machine's great and it it'll get the job done. Um, I know a lot of people are anti-CNC when it comes to guitars. I'm not one of them. I actually, I like it because of the precision and, you know, I can throw this body on, have it start cutting, and while it's cutting, I can move on to something else and be working on another piece of the guitar, like maybe the neck or the fretboard or whatever have you. I could go have lunch and come back and it'll be done and ready to go. It does take a little bit longer by doing it with the CNC for full cutting out bodies, you know, cutting all the way through the depth of the body. But, like I said, while it's doing what it needs to do, I can go do what I need to do as well. Jinxed myself, I guess. Um, talking about how awesome the machine is and it's 100% stock, never had to change anything. And part way into the carving process of this guitar body, my brushes decided to give out on me. So, great opportunity to show you guys how to change the brushes on a DeWalt 611 um, compact router. So, let's get into it. Uh, First thing, let me move you guys a little bit closer so you can see what we're doing. One thing you guys might want to uh, remember to do, which I almost forgot to do and would have been a huge mistake, make sure you unplug your router before you start any work on it. So that way once you get into it, there's no chance of it turning on and just sending you to the hospital. Don't want that. Safety first, always. Make sure you unplug it before you do any type of work on it. Now that I've said that, let's take this cap off. So on the on the router itself, there's going to be four screws here. 
here, back here, and one here. Now these normally take either a uh, T20 Torx uh, screwdriver, Torx bit, um, or you can use a flathead screwdriver. Uh, all the videos that are out there that I've seen on how to do this, they all use a uh, T20. So I'm going to actually show you guys uh, that using a flathead screwdriver actually works. So let me go ahead and get this top off and I will show you guys what the inside looks like. Alright, there it is with the top off. Your brushes actually live right there. It's a pretty simple process. It's a spring that keeps your brush moving forward so that it continues to make contact, contact as it wears down. So I'm going to have to pull this spring out using a little hook. Reach in there. Pull it out and up and over there, out of the way, just like that. Now we can grab this lead line, and there's our old brush. Super small compared to the new one. I will show you guys a new one in just a second and compare them so you can see old versus new. Alright, old one on the left, new one on the right simple process just goes right back in the way it came out so let's get these uh put back in so when i say these there are two you've got the one on the front side and then there's also one back here so make sure you get both and uh i'm gonna get these put back in and Go right, from there. Got it all plugged back in. Got the brushes changed. So let's go ahead and fire up, see what happens. Simple as that. Quick job, easy to do. Let's get to carving this body, get it all finished up. All right, everyone, so this is the body style we're going on, or going with. Um, had some things happen with the, uh, the CNC, and wasn't quite sure if I was going to be able to salvage what we started with. And remember, I cut this a couple months ago and did nothing with it. Some of the things I didn't like was how thin it comes out well I got a better body now so this guy will go back over here on the shelf to maybe be worked on later CNC did a great job cutting this guy this is the new one it is a ash body it's got plenty more thickness now it will be uh carved down some on the back but as you can see that grain is just killer and hope you guys like it um i still have a little bit of sanding to do um which i'll probably do off camera uh just to get it done and uh I'm excited for the next video because I'm going to start working on the neck as well as the fretboard. So, again, thanks for checking out the video. 
Hope you guys like it. Uh, if you do, make sure you hit the subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And uh, look forward to the next video. See you guys. Thanks.